Prince William's wife Kate Middleton pregnant? Due date and baby details revealed as Kensington Palace announced the Duchess of Cambridge is expecting her third child with Prince William. Kate Middleton and Prince William are set to welcome their third child after Kensington Palace announced their big baby news. The Duchess of Cambridge's pregnancy announcement came as a surprise to royal fans who thought she was done after Prince George and Princess Charlotte. But when is Kate Middleton's due date and is this baby a boy or girl? Clueless actress. Alicia Silverstone has released a book titled The Kind Mama, which encourages women to take charge of their fertility, pregnancy and the first six months of having their baby. Alicia then offered the Duchess some advice and wrote in an open letter, Congratulations on the impending arrival of your third child. I imagine that Prince George and Princess Charlotte are thrilled at the idea of a new little brother or sister. I was sorry to hear that you were once again suffering from severe morning sickness. With the hope of supporting you during this time, Please accept a copy of my book The Kind Mama. I wrote it because I saw some women in my life having such amazing, beautiful, blissful experiences with pregnancy, birth, and motherhood and that was so inspiring to me. This was in stark contrast to what we've come to accept as normal, having a hard time with fertility, suffering through pregnancies full of ailments, suffering through less than ideal deliveries, and the list goes on. While there's nothing to suggest Kate is expecting more than one baby and twins don't appear to run in either family, it has led to questions over what would happen to the royal succession to the throne if she were expecting two babies, especially after she stepped out in a pale blue dress followed by a pale pink dress. The rules were changed so that gender is no longer an overriding factor, meaning Princess Charlotte will not see her position slip if the new baby is a boy. Until as recently as 2012, if the royal had twins and they were a boy and a girl, it would be the boy who automatically got to wear the crown. But now, if Kate ever had twins and had a girl and a boy, it would be the firstborn who succeeds, regardless of gender. The Duchess of Cambridge made her first public appearance on World Mental Health Day. Kate wore a blue temporary linden dress for the occasion as the first hint of baby bump was seen. The dress cost 795 and some fans believed the color meant she was having a baby boy. According to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie could play a big part in the new baby's life. Explaining to Express.co.uk, he said, It is possible Beatrice or Eugenie might be a godparent to the new baby. If true, it will be the second time the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have broken royal tradition after failing to make any members of the royal family or Princess Charlotte's godparents, instead opting for a member of Princess Diana's family. Since announcing Kate Middleton's pregnancy, the adorable royal family have kept out of the public eye as she recovers from her serious morning sickness. However, it's been confirmed Prince William will be leaving his pregnant wife and children behind as he has to return to his public duties, and this time it's in New Zealand. Kensington Palace's Twitter account confirmed, the Duke of Cambridge, representing HM the Queen, will attend the New Zealand commemoration for the Battle of Paschentel on the 12th of October. Kate Middleton's husband attended a charity reception and awards ceremony for the Metropolitan and City Police Orphans Fund where he chatted to Iris Arrail, 98, about the Duchess' pregnancy. Iris asked the prince how Kate was doing, to which he responded, she's been feeling better, thank you. He also revealed they had been using old-fashioned remedies to help Kate with her morning sickness. Prince William said, ginger biscuits, but there is not much ginger can do to stop that. We've done all that. 